Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I didn't plan on making this a video. I thought it was going to be a community post, and then uh, the situation just got more interesting. There were worlds within worlds. Eh, not really, <laughs> but it was still kind of fun. So there's a lot of ways to enjoy something. You know, you can enjoy a comic as a collectible. You can enjoy a comic as being a completist, and you just want every single issue of a run. You can enjoy for the story. You can enjoy for the story and art you can enjoy because there was a misprint and that, that that's just interesting to you um now usually <laughs> i'm simple i just like a cool story with some uh good art but uh this one was very very interesting to me uh so before i start people are getting impossible stars uh all over the world uh so that's great to see i got like seven boxes of goodie bags for expendables go to hell i'm telling you please you might assume that you're not the first backer to get Expendables, but please, if you think you even might be, I, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm within like double digit hours of hearing about somebody getting it. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, so uh, Knife Hand Blind Spot, Rock and Roll Ninja, still available. Links in this in the description. So this is the Authority, which <laughs> it took me like a day. But, you know, somebody mentioned there. Oh, Grant Morrison, Gene Ha, but then there was some delays so i looked it up and it was very because i always sail the high seas first just to get a look at something um and then i noticed it said grant morrison the authority the lost year but it started at issue three for a comic that came out a decade ago and you know every issue should be on there so apparently it was started as a series and then it just got so slow so you see here um the first one came out and this is why I didn't hear about it. It came out October of 2006. I was in Iraq for the second time. So I, I, I didn't even know this existed. Um, and it kind of didn't <laughs> because it had one issue. It came out in October 2006. Uh, another came out in uh, March of 2007. And then the third issue, which was then changed to be The Authority of the Lost Year, uh, came out uh, two and a half years later. And then they finished it. <laughs> they finished this thing like almost four years after it started. And I got to tell you, it finished rough. This is the first page. Okay, so the, the first two issues was Grant Morrison and Gene Haw. And then, I don't know, like Grant Morrison just checked out. So it was just Keith Giffen completing his plots, and writing the dialogue and stuff. And then it was just like fill-ins for the rest of this i don't understand why they, did, they didn't just quit and now, this actually might okay so i will i will review the first two issues <laughs> but what i'm saying is this is interesting because at one point warren ellis and oh i'm forgetting his name ramon villalobos they were going to do a reboot of wildcats and it was supposed to be a, like a huge deal this is like two or three years ago and then it just never came out because Ramon just didn't finish the scripts. And I was so confused. But now it makes more sense because I think Jim Lee is like, it's what happened with, you know, uh, Gene Ha. And he's basically like, I've seen this before. I I've been through this before. So I'm just going to, we're just going to not do it. It's canceled. It's canceled before it even started. Uh, <laughs> I, I started laughing because I remembered how, like, my theory is every SJW is in 10 years is going to claim they were against cancel culture and that they themselves was canceled. So Ramon's like, I was canceled. I was like super canceled. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, four years and this is sad. I mean, this is Jerry Ordway pencils with Kevin Nolan inks. And please look at the screen. Like that is awful awful all i can imagine is that this is just an absolute rush job uh so the idea was that the authority uh, they were kind of like asshole sociopathic liberal anarchist avengers kind of is they would always talk about the bleed it was like the the space between worlds between dimensions so in this one they go to our earth um and even keith giffen said like i hate this idea <laughs> but and here's the weird thing. So I flipped through the first two issues and it looked awful. 
But weirdly enough, reading it one panel at a time, it totally works. So it's a fairly simple story. What if super assholes essentially came to the real world? Um, and then the physics were different. So basically their powers don't work as well. Their, uh, their ship kind of shuts down. Um, but it, it actually kind of worked. It, it low-key worked. I'm not saying it low-key worked like people say low-key on TikTok. I mean, like, it low-key worked. <laughs> At a very simple level, it worked. Even though some of these uh, panels, Gene Ha was trying a different style, and in some panels it works, and some it really, really doesn't. But just as kind of like, almost like a, uh, you know, a bottle episode of Star Trek TNG, like, it kind of worked on that level just fine. The idea that there were 10 more issues after this was just grim death. And one of the things that it keeps coming back to over and over and over again is that the authority, they're just not very likable. Uh, some of the designs are pretty cool. Like, Midnighter is a pretty cool design. This engineer looks cool. But there's nothing there. They're just vaguely abrasive assholes. <laughs> And so, and then even stuff like uh, uh, Hawksmoor, who actually looked cool and distinctive when drawn by Brian Hitch and by Frank Quitely. Uh, when drawn by everyone else, he's just an utter bore. Um, none of these characters are particularly likable or interesting. Everyone's like, oh, that's Hawk Girl as an abrasive asshole. This is Batman as an abrasive asshole. This is Superman. Okay, so. Basically, if you come up with a good plot, you can plug in these abrasive assholes and it's like, okay, but oh my gosh, this does not remotely need 12 issues. It, this is like four to six issues. And again, like I said, the authority, they never should have tried to make this into a series ever because that's the problem. The characters aren't likable. It's not even that they aren't relatable. Like they're not likable. Do you like I like Daredevil. I like Gambit. I mean, as characters, but also, like, if you met them, you know, I feel like I would like them. Like, I, I don't want to meet any of the authority ever in any situation. <laughs> but anyway, I actually had fun just kind of delving into some comic book publishing history. It it's another aspect of uh, the hobby uh, that can be fun. So this was kind of uh, interesting, although as with the art on this, your mileage may vary. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.